Across the country, more than 27,000 students and staff have tested positive for the coronavirus since the start of the pandemic. And as we mark the start of the school year for many students here, the Minnesota Department of Health remains concerned about a rise in childhood cases of COVID-19. Here in Minnesota, our number of school-related cases among both students and teachers continues to increase. As the new school year of in-person classes began, the Minnesota Department of Health is reporting a rise in COVID-19 infections in schools across the state. The highly contagious Delta variant is fueling the uptick. This Delta variant spreads easily, as we've talked about, and it's more important than ever that we use our available tools to slow transmission, especially as we start this very important school year. In the past two weeks, more than 160 pre-K through 12 schools reported infections. Right now, the proportion of children being hospitalized is 1.3 percent. That figure is double what it was this time last fall. The good news is that that still is a relatively small number of cases in children that are being hospitalized. The overall risk of children becoming severely ill or dying from COVID-19 is extremely low. Still, health officials are concerned. As we think about more kids um, back in school, our elementary school students unable to be vaccinated, you know, those are the things that are giving us pause. MDH is encouraging school districts to take a layered prevention approach to reducing the spread. And we do know, all of us, how important in-person learning is for students. And we need to take the right actions to make that in-person learning possible and safe. Capitol Hill Magnet in St. Paul and Bluff Creek Elementary in Chanhassen are among several school buildings that have recently reported five or more confirmed cases of COVID-19 and students and staff during a two-week period. State health officials encourage children 12 and older to get vaccinated.